Nine minutes past 11. Are you hitting the dance floor this weekend? Whether you're still clubbing or whether the late nights are a distant memory, the chances are you didn't hit the town with your little ones. But that's all changing with a new craze. Baby raves. <laughs> Our very own reformed raver, John T. O'Donnell, grabbed his glow sticks and headed to Birmingham. Orla, can you say big tune? Big tune. Orla, what are you going to be at the rave? A lion. Wow. We're just driving past Junction 4 of the M54. 20 years ago, we'd be driving down to Birmingham to go clubbing. And today, all these years on, we're doing exactly the same, but with two big differences. First of all, it's daylight. It's the middle of the afternoon. And secondly, we have a toddler with us. We are going to our very first baby rave. Order, are you ready? Mummy, are you ready? Yeah. Daddy, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's rave! What do you make of it? It's brilliant. <laughs> I like the balloons. The balloons are good, aren't they? And how old's your smallest one here? He's seven months. What does he make of it? He's enjoying it. He's enjoying it. He likes eating the glow sticks. <laughs> My name's Anna Emery and I'm the West Midlands and Oxford manager for Big Fish Little Fish. Anna, dragged you off the dance floor there. I've got to say thank you for uh, giving all of my two-year-old a glow stick. All right, it's a necessity at a rave, John T. <laughs> Tell me about Big Fish, Little Fish. Where does the idea come about? So it's amazing. It was set up in 2013 by Hannah Saunders um, in London. The first venue she did was Brixton. Um, it's then spread all over London and then um, sort of organically grown over the UK as people who've gone to her events in London and, and then moved away have said, you know, let's, let's set it up here. So in, I went to an event in Hackney then I moved back to my hometown of Birmingham and I said, Hannah, you know, can I set this up in Birmingham? And she was like, go for it. I don't actually know who's more excited, me or my daughter, but it's the same goes for everyone. The, the parents are big kids today. Yeah, that's right. Get a chance to relive their youth. How old's your little one? Yeah, she's six months. Six months? Yeah. Fantastic. Her first rave? I know, yeah. Yeah, first <laughs> rave at six months. <laughs> what do you make of all this? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. First one we've been to and definitely recommend it. And uh, did you used to go raving club any part of the party scene yourself? Uh, used to be, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You'd come again? Yeah, definitely. I'm Hannah Saunders. I'm the founder of Big Fish Little Fish. Two to four hour party people. So it used to be 24 hour party people. Now we're just a little yeah, bit more measured, aren't we? More measured. It's all you can fit in, really. <laughs> And it is amazing. My, my yeah. two-year-old is loving it. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Uh, there are hundreds of people here, all ages, just having a wonderful time. I was just talking to somebody who's got a six-week-old baby. There are grandparents here and everything else in between. And it's just it's just lovely atmosphere out there. You know, I'm a huge music fan, big old club and all that bit. And I just wanted to think, well, why don't I create something that draws on all of that, where adults and children can enjoy themselves designed for both of them to have a good time together in the same space and you know lo and behold here I am three years later so wow it's going to be a little bit odd in half an hour staggering out at four <laughs> but then it's four in the afternoon and yeah. it's daylight yeah <laughs> yeah we're still emerging out from the you know a dark space into broad daylight which you know <laughs> similar and tired and then you can go home and have good rest that's it home in time for tea though eh? home in time for tea and you've got nice tired children have a good night's sleep as well so rave I on. love that rave on rave on <laughs> how fantastic is that John T. Doddle, the man who took his toddler to a rave.